<laughs> this is this is big blue, big blue. Um, right here. I think this deck is bad, but I say that about a lot of decks. And then we go on to you know six and one or something. So we'll see how it works. But I got a really bad, 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 bad feeling about this deck. But maybe it's better than I think it is. You know, we've got some fairly powerful cards in here. Malevolent Hermit is fine. It's a decent counterspell. In terms of counterspells, we've got some good stuff. We've got Malevolent Hermit, Make Disappear, a new card I'm really interested in trying out. Uh, one Drawer Disruption. Still want to play at least the one, even though we have Make Disappear. Um, right, we have Saw It Coming. So there's some hard counters in this deck. And there's some older things too, like Immerith and Invoke the Winds. I wanted to play some five drops in this deck. Not only because, you know, it's kind of a big, it's like, think big red, but it's blue instead. Um, not only because it's a big blue deck, but because there is a very specific play we can make that gives us five mana on turn three. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about that. Some of the new stuff that we get to play in this deck. An offer you can't refuse. So late in the game, this can copy, or copy, this can counter one of your opponent's spells. And maybe, since everyone has all the mana they'll ever need anyway, you don't care that they get mana off this. You just want to counter that thing so it doesn't kill you. So it, it, it has that function. However, we can also try and cast a spell of our own and then counter it, you see. And that, which we have to go to full control for, I discovered earlier, I was very upset about that. Um, <laughs> but we can cast a spell of our own counter it, and get two treasure tokens. So that means that we could, theoretically, on turn one, play an island, turn two, island, and then at the end of our opponent's turn, we could maybe cast a consider, let's say. Counter our own consider, get two treasure tokens, go, and resolve an Imrith. I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth trying that. I said earlier that an offer you can't refuse is kind of a dark ritual. That that's really stretching it. That it's I know, I understand how stretching it that is, but it's one mana for two mana, and yeah, you have to spend more mana and a card to get all the mana you want out of this, but there's gonna be times where you really don't mind getting rid of a consider. Or you don't mind trying to cast a witness protection, say, on their very small one or two drop, countering your own witness protection to get the mana, right? Like there are lines that I wanna try with this card tonight. Um but I, I really don't think it's going to be very good. I actually think Offer is going to be one of the worst cards in the deck. I just want to try that line out. Some cards that I expect to be very good tonight are uh, Witness Protection, one, and then Make Disappear, two. Make Disappear, we don't actually have a ton of creatures to sack to this, but I think that just two mana, counter it unless they pay two, is probably quite good in a lot of game situations. We'll see. There's probably going to be one situation, you know, turn eight, and this doesn't do anything. Probably going to happen once or twice. But I think the number of times where this is in our hand in the early game and it basically allows us to counter anything is going to be big. So we'll try that out. But Witness Protection is the one that I'm more excited about. I called this a Swords to Plowshares earlier, and I mean it. One mana. It's one mana. And yeah, your opponent can bust it. Your opponent can, you know, get rid of it with some sort of enchantment removal, besage you, something like that. So, you know, there's built-in disadvantages to the card. But for the most part... I have found that Witness Protection has been kind of unbelievably good so far in the games I've played with this deck. So, Blue just has one mana removal right now. It's like what Blood Chief's Thirst. You know, it's it's really it's really not a terrible card so far today. I want to keep trying it. The best card in this deck so far today in the, I don't know, two games that I've played with it, but I've gotten this card in both games, and it has carried me to victory both times. All seeing Arbiter really interested in playing this, although I figured I would end up playing, um, what is it, Kairi, the six mana dragon from Kamigawa. I figured I would end up playing that instead, but I have been very impressed with this card so far today, and hopefully it does more cool stuff. ETB draw two discard is fine. That also means that when it ETBs, you get to shoot down one of your opponent's creatures for a turn. They don't get to deal damage in combat, basically. That has been good, especially considering it also happens when you attack, right? You get this as an ETB trigger. If it gets to attack, think about how this works, because, I, you know, it didn't really hit me until I saw it in action in a game of Magic the Gathering, right? 
your opponent has a hard time cracking back the turn after you play this. You just drew two cards. You had to discard one. Who cares? You drew two. Um, discarded one. Neutered one of your opponent's creatures. So you have this 5-4 that's sitting there ready to block one of their dudes. And their biggest guy can't really get damage on you. Okay, so that, that all but neuters their next attack step. On your next turn, if you still have Asa, <laughs> All-Seeing Arbiter, then... When you attack with it, you draw more cards with all your mana open. You attack with it and draw more cards. Two more. You discard a card. And you get to neuter again. Every turn, you neuter your opponent's biggest threat. That is good. So far, this has been very good. Finishes the game in just a couple of bites. While also like being able to swing. Like You can swing with this and not care. Because, you know, you're making it to where your opponent's biggest guy doesn't hit you back. So that makes this a lot easier to swing with, and you want to swing with it so you get to, so you can draw cards, you know. So like this, this has actually been like pretty sweet so far. Um, aside from that, memory delusions in the deck. <laughs> you see it right there. It's just the best card draw piece in standard. And then Toulouse, um, uh, Toulouse and Ledger Shredder are both new as well. A lot of new stuff in this deck. But Toulouse, I have actually not resolved yet. I've not played. <laughs> I've not played this card in a game of Magic at all yet. So. But I'm kind of interested in it. There's multiple ways to discard cards in this deck, as you see with All-Seeing Arbiter, right? The Connive on Ledger Shredder makes us discard cards. So there's that. So Toulouse works in a number of ways with different things. Also, all this discarding card stuff is cool with Malevolent Hermit, right? We can discard Malevolent Hermit and then play Benevolent Geist out of our yard. So cool little piece of tech there. But I want to try this. 3 mana, 3 one ETBs draws a card. Could be good. Ledger Shredder. Uh, very good. Very. I've played this in a number of decks already this season, and I've just been very impressed with this. We won't always play two spells a turn, but it's worth noting that we have some stuff on the low end here. You know, we can Ledger Shredder turn two. Turn three, maybe play Malevolent Hermit. Consider, you know, grow the uh, Ledger Shredder. It's possible. So This hand isn't amazing, but it's fine. I just hate that opponent goes first here. If we were on the play, this hand would be much better. Hey, it's a creature land. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nothing but islands last time. Let's try it out. Opponent on looks like straight black red, but we still don't know. Hmm. Yeah, let's Shredder. I have options next turn. If Shredder's still around, then I can. Like. Well, there's Soul Shatter of all things. Okay. Well, now I think maybe just hold up Counterspell. Probably the best way to do it. Could Malevolent Hermit, which is like holding up a counter spell, but not entirely. I do I do like it though. I like this. I do. Sure. With mono blue, if they don't have a creature on the table by turn three, you, you really ought to hold up counter spells. There's play with fire. Should have made them pay. Oh Devin. Oh Devin. So stupid. I got off easy there. Should have made him pay. Alright. Now, it's just a hold-up counterspell game. Uh, if they play a big dude, we'll just take it. Because we have Invoke Winds. And if we get to six, we can just play All-Seeing Arbiter. But, boy, is it giving us weird opponents that aren't doing anything tonight. Which is actually a combination of good and bad for us. <laughs> But I do like a Mardu pile. I am a fan of a nice old-fashioned Mardu pile. Six mana here, so I could resolve the Simrith and probably not do much else. Could also resolve the All-Seeing Arbiter. But I think the safest play for right now is to play Malevolent Hermit as Benevolent Geist. Hold up, saw it coming, and say go. Emrith isn't terrible here. But I want them to use removal on the Geist. Path of Peril, they do. See, the reason I would use Solid Coming here, by the way, I could also use an offer you can't refuse here. But the reason I would use Solid Coming is because, like, if I play Imrith or um, All Seeing Arbiter next turn, then I won't have the mana to Solid Coming anyway. So maybe I can get two removal spells out of their hand like this. And that would be nice. I think I'm going to make him an offer. 
That gives them five mana. So the worst that could happen right now is they play Lolth. I would not like that. But what I'm hoping they do is use some of this mana to play a removal spell out of their hand. My hope here is that they wouldn't play a removal spell if I'd have played like Saw It Coming, right? But see, now that they have extra mana, they'll tap out. You see? You see how that worked? I am a smart person on occasion. So, I think we all seeing Arbiter here. Discard the Memory Deluge. Do you see? We could also Emirith. Which is a fine play. I could also um, kind of just hold up Memory Delusion, saw it coming, but I want to get Arbiter on the table. I want to take this card for a spin. I don't know how good it's going to be right here. I don't, but we'll try. Because I'm pretty sure our opponent is one of these like 20 removal spell decks. Eight mana. Ugin? No. <laughs> Still have nightmares of Ugin the Spirit Dragon. They cast Farewell. We use, they use a Farewell as a one for one. I'll take that. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't have discarded the uh, island there. We need it both to recast Memory Deluge and to activate the Hall. So dropping the island last turn from the Arbiter was probably not the right play. What if I Ledger Shredder? Ledger Shredder, memory to lose, grow the Ledger Shredder, but then we're down on... We, we, we put shields down, and I don't want to do that. If we Emrith, we shields down too. I think I'll Ledger Shredder try to draw one more removal spell out of their hand before we start, you know, Emrith. They're probably not going to give us anything to invoke, but my idea here is that maybe we just run them out of removal spells. Especially because, you know, a lot of their removal they've cast has been one for one. So burn down the house. They're going to use that one for one. That's crazy. Fine. Five mana sweeper is a one for one. And, and they, they, you know, three, they lose three mana value on it. That's ridiculous. Let's saw it coming that. I could deluge and just discard the cards, but I think we did it better by doing that. Emrith, they're down to one card here. So if we can stick this and get card advantage out of it, I think we're doing all right. But the, I think the plan here is to just run them out of cards and then finish them with Hall. Farewell, one for one. It's literally just sweepers.deck, dude. It's ridiculous. Clock. Clock, right? Bang. You got two turns, buddy. Hmm. That's tempting, isn't it? That's very tempting. Let's try it. To lose? Probably going to discard this witness protection. I kind of want to keep the Invoke. <laughs> Ooh, an offer. That's probably Deese right now. 4-2 to lose, and we have Memory Deluge up. I'll take that instead of a Hall attack. I think I may make them an offer here, if they try to remove our guy. Oh, they're just going to Scry. Okay. Silver Quill Campus. Don't see that every day. Personally, I like these new um, dual lands. They come in to play tapped, but you can pay four, tap them, sack them to draw a card. I think those are kind of neat. Like, almost playable. All right, they scribe to the bottom there. That's interesting. Three cards in hand. One of them must be a removal spell because it looks like they're playing removal spells at about a, a two out of three rate, you know? But if it is a removal spell, I bet we can make him an offer. Oh, it's a farewell. We made him cast farewell. Look how good offer is right here. It might give them the mana to cast a removal spell. I don't care. Yeah, let's go. Boom. Big blue kid. We just played through a billion removal spells. And we would have continued to do so. We had memory deluge. I really wanted to cast it there. If they didn't scoop, 
at that play. I imagine they scooped to memory deluge there. But in case they don't, they now have to raise 7, 8, 9, 11 damage next turn. So, and two fresh cards in our hand. It's good stuff. That's why these like 20 removal spell decks just don't tend to work, man. If they'd have been playing against um, you know, Naya tokens or something, maybe, but there's just, there's no win condition. You know, they have to play, you have to close the game. You can't just sweep the board every single turn. All right, we go first. Not bad. Ledger Shredder is slightly less impressive in this deck, I would say, than in some of the other decks I've played it in so far. I'm going to turn to it here, though, I think. That's what opponent does. They played Mountain, turn one. Mountain, turn two. Is it just Mono Red? Might be good against 2-2 two -two Haste Guy, right? Oh, Thermo Alchemist! Player after my own heart. I'm gonna give you a nice, my friend. Let's Hermit then. Pop in. Let's see if they get us something to counter here. I might do it. Kessig Flame Breather. Oh, they're doing it. They're living the dream. And here they shock the Hermit, right? You don't have to shock the Hermit. I think you probably go face here, right? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Let's go ahead and sack the Hermit. And the reason that we do this is so Hermit doesn't get exiled. Discarding for the connive here, and it's actually kind of tough. I think I'll just discard the other hermit. Solid coming actually doesn't look like the best card in the world right now, to be honest. Because I want to be spending this mana. But we may not do that this turn, right? Ooh. Witness protection. The alchemist. Yeah, I'll definitely do this. We get to draw two um, cards this way. Or we get to connive this way. Yeah, you tap it down. Make sure you, <laughs> you get the effects while you still can, my friend. And to lose or hermit. I think I'd rather hermit right now. Discard what? This looks so weird, but I'm going to discard the solid coming. Again, I want to spend my mana on my turn. I want to play Imrith next turn. So, it's like, I don't know when we're going to be open for a, a solid coming anytime soon. I know that they're playing mostly spells in their decks. So the solid coming looks awesome. It, you know, it counters their invoke calamity or whatever, but I still, I, I want to get bodies on the table. So, I think just like big ledger shredder, Imrith, all that, it's probably where we want to be. Igneous Inspiration, our face! Okay. Okay, buddy. Nice. What do they go get? Introduction to Prophecy. Nothing else this turn? No, they swing. They, they swing. Oh, so they have a Spike Field Hazard. Okay, no blocks. Cool. We get another Witness Protection! That's pretty sexy, actually. <laughs> Um, I think rather than playing the Imrith this turn, I'm just going to witness protection and to lose. And that'll connive. Making the deck look good. Ooh. Well, we're not going to grow the Ledger Shredder, but I'll take the connive one way or the other. Oh, yeah, that's right. We will. We will grow the to lose. <laughs> Which is nice, because we're pretty sure they have a Spike Field Hazard. Which is really, really good against a one toughness to lose. Alright, witness protection on both their guys. This game is uh, fun so far. But who knows? Maybe they have invoked Calamity right now and it's really, really good. It's going to take a couple of turns to finish the job here. Maybe we draw something we can play alongside Malevolent Hermit. Connive, the Ledger Shredder. Ooh, magic missile. 
Oops. Oh, no, no. They've got to have something else, right? You've got something else. Yeah, nice. In the festivities. Very nice. Very cool. Well, let's draw up two cards. <laughs> They're both make disappear, so... Not a huge deal, but, you know, I'll draw two. Well, let's just throw old, old big boy, Imrith, down. Keep putting the pressure on. Swing right here, we can win next turn. But opponent has cards. Opponent does have cards, so... It's still possible. Dual strike! Okay! Royal Eruption win. They can do it. They can do it. I'm on their side. Magic... They did it, baby! Okay. They did it. They did it. Got a good game. That's six to us. They get in. They win. Man. Good game down to the wire. They see it. They see it. Yep. Bang, bang. Well, I'll take it. I'll take that. That was just a fun game. <laughs> we both had all the things that we needed, you know. I probably could have done things different. I probably could have held up Make Disappear, note that they needed all their mana that turn. But then I wouldn't have been able to block. <laughs> but still, still, I think that if I had it to do again, I would do it the exact same way. Yeah, they did it. <laughs> that would have been fun if we were, if we were them. I, uh, I'm, I was on their side for that one. Sitting there rooting for them, like, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> I didn't expect dual strike, I gotta say that. Alright, we go first. Hand looks okay. But just okay. Let's hold up this consider, see what we can spin it into. Opponent starts on green mana, and I don't think we've actually seen that yet tonight. Well, I guess we need lands for the Arbiter eventually. Don't draw another one. Don't you do it. Okay, good. Good. Hold up Drawry here. See if it works. Green, white. Kami. Well, they'll eventually get this Kami back, I guess. We'll still Drawry it for now. So it's runes, is it? Yeah, it's Toulouse. Witness Protection is so good, though. It's it's so good against this deck. The reason I didn't want to do the Consider is because next turn I can Ledger Shredder into Consider and immediately grow the Ledger Shredder, which seems good to me, but I think I'd rather have the Witness Protection up. You know? Mimic, of all things. Okay. Mimic. They sack the Mimic. This is three colors. It's not Naya. Here comes Jukai Naturalist. Okay. Cool. Let's Ledger Shredder and Witness Protection. And you don't get that thing. Ah! That's so hard, dude. That's so hard. Well, I guess I'd rather have the Solid coming in our hand. Toulouse dies, we'll get the thing back, so it doesn't matter. Swing. They do block. Okay. Cool. So far looking good, but that could go south quickly. <laughs> See what they do this turn. What? Oh, whenever one or more non-creature permanents return to hand, draw a card. This ability triggers only once a turn. X and a white. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Return target artifact or enchantment of the value mana, value mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just witness protection that. Wow. Legitimate business person blocks to lose. What did I say, by the way? It's a, it, like, witness protection is a swords to plowshares, dude. 
Like, it's so good. God, it's so good. They have another Tameshi. That's cool. Let's just... They, I hate to be the guy that's like, no, you don't get to do the cool thing you want to do. Your deck idea is so cool, dude. Your deck idea is very cool, and I like it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, every draw in the deck is live next turn except for Hall of Storm Giants, so let's hope we don't draw that. <laughs> I guess another All-Seeing Arbiter would also be... A third Tameshi? Yeah, they're gonna do the thing they want to do, I guess. <laughs> There's no stopping him. <laughs> Here comes another Mimic. Okay. I guess I'll take a Connive. Land. Ah, we have to duck you too. We have to. I don't want to do that, but we have to. Sucks. Sucks. Why are you in the deck? So that you can be brought back? Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. All-seeing Arbiter. We have to um, discard one of these two cards we get, but it doesn't matter. Let's discard the land. Let's shrink the Tameshi. It's just so sick. <laughs> all seeing Arbiter is so good, dude. Even if that's all that Arbiter does, good enough. Their deck is neat, though. They get to do something this turn. They have all their mana. They have a Tameshi. They can just bring back Jukai Naturalist. <laughs> that's what they're going to do. <coughs> turn a land they control to their owner's hand. Get their Jukai Naturalist back. Draw a card. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good, dude. We got six mana open. It's a mesh. Here it comes. <laughs> Jukai Naturalist. Land. They drew the card. They play Jukai. We get to connive here. Or we don't. Michiko's Reign of Truth. There's the connive. Okay. <laughs> Let's discard the Hermit. Let's witness protection something. <laughs> Scoop it up. Good game. <laughs> good game, opponent. Dude, witness protection... <laughs> witness protection is such a good magic card. All, by the way, All-Seeing Arbiter. All-Seeing Arbiter, dude. Such an it's impressive card. Game. We go first. Hopefully we play against a deck that's not doing stupid garbage this time. <laughs> Let's just throw down the Island. We have two swords to plowshares in our hand, but it doesn't look like our opponent's going to be playing creatures. They throw down Shipwreck Marsh to start things off. Okay, it's Grixis. Let's consider EO2. Sure. Take a Hall of Storm Giants. I'll even play it. There we go. Say so go to our... We played against a lot of people who just haven't done anything. Like We haven't played against an aggro deck all night. Not like a real aggro deck. Which is kind of lame, like... It's a bunch of all blue all the time tonight, really. Lots and lots and lots of blue. That's because we're playing blue, so, you know. Stupid matchmaker. Maestro's Charm, they're gonna look at the top. Hey, I got a better way of drawing cards than that. Let's do that, then. Uh, Shredder. Do I need the other land? I got five. Well, I guess I'll take the Hermit. Thanks. See, now we're tapped out, though. They get to do whatever they want on their turn, but I still think that was the thing to do. Knowing that if they play something big, we just steal it. If they don't do too much of anything with their turn, we just Emrith, you know? So, I guess I'm fine with either of those outcomes. They milled nothing but lands and a hole breaker horror into the yard. It's just Grixis Reanimator. Eh, yawn. You know, big deal. Like, at this point, Grixis Reanimator is kind of a yawny, <laughs> bit of a deck, you know. Eh. Alright. Against you? Shredder. It's like, they're not even playing something interesting. They're playing Holebreaker Horror as their reanimation target. It's like, oh god. Yawn. Just like the biggest yawn. Hermit, let's grow the Shredder. Charm the Shredder to death, okay. I guess I can discard another Hermit. Well... Yeah, I can discard a Hermit, it's fine. That's fine. 
All right, we got Hermit held up for any reanimation spell they try to cast here. Also, I think Witness Protection might be kind of interesting in this game against Holebreaker, but if we do manage to stick it to a Holebreaker, they'll just like find a way to return Holebreaker, like cast a spell, return Holebreaker to their hand. So we'll see. All right, they thirst. Let's let's do it because why not? You could argue that we shouldn't do it to like trick them into thinking maybe like bluff a fading hope I guess I don't care <laughs> they do nothing else we draw another land they just they just let us hold on to this Atara I love that let's play Emrith pretty normal game here but wait until they get a hole breaker it won't be normal anymore It'll be infuriating. The cool thing about Holebreaker as a reanimation target, like the cool thing about playing against it as their reanimation target, is that they might be able to return the Holebreaker to their hand, but they might not have enough mana to replay it, depending on where we are in the game. So. Alright, they stick us and then draw two, discard two with the uh, Prismari command there. It's in the turn. I'm not gonna put a WP on my own dude. Five mana for the opponent. Yep, you gotta pay four, buddy. They're gonna go blank instead. Let's discard two. Tawada. Witness protection. In case you can't tell, I really want to invoke the the winds, whatever they reanimate. But it's either gonna be Holebreaker or Jenga Taxius, and those are gonna be two very difficult things to um to grab with an invoke. Equal to the difference. Okay, so it won't matter if I consider first here. I'll still draw these same amount of cards. Well, let's try for it. Let's see if they have removal spell at instant speed here. They don't. Draw. <laughs> it's another Ember. Is that the actual worst draw? Let's main phase consider here. Hall. Ooh, is that good, actually? Pretty good. I don't know that it's good enough I want to draw it, but if we don't draw this, we will just draw an island. I am so sure of it, so sure. Let's draw it. Draw it and drop it. And Sega. And we know... Oh, see? Jenka Taxi Sand Hole Breakers, so... Yeah, Imrith isn't amazing. God, another good one? Come on, dude. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. They draw a reanimation spell. It's kind of on. Land. Let's draw two cards on this attack step. Hopefully. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, they okay. They don't have a removal spell. I want to see what we draw. That's why I didn't get him with uh, Hall here. Scott Hall. Sweet. That's very, very good. That's quite good. Let's Malevolent Hermit. Field to ruin one of our two halls. Whatever. Oh, I should have tapped it. Ah, I should have tapped it. I should have tapped it. That was so stupid. I should have tapped it. Should have tapped it. <laughs> I'm going to feel so bad about that. And to lose. To lose. Because what have we got to lose? All right, let's get rid of this island. We don't need those. All right, so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Tainted indulgence, good milkshake there. They will get to discard because they only have four out of the five. They have five now. Yeah, they have five out of five now. They can taint an indulgence to draw two. But if they don't do anything, they just lose the game. So that's <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. Let's uh, activate Hall. See if we can win here. Bang, bang, boom, we just win. We just win the game. That's, we'll just take a win. <laughs> last, the last game of the night. That's what this deck usually is supposed to do, right? Just like, hopefully counter stuff or, or get tempo in the first couple of turns of the game. The opponent was nice enough to not really do anything in the first few turns of the game. You know? If I had to pick, like, the key to winning the game that time, it was probably the fact that, you know, Imrith drew cards. 
and um, they played go blank twice against us. So they kind of played two cards against us that cost a total of six mana and didn't really do anything because <laughs> we get we kept we we got to uh, keep drawing cards off of Emirate. So <clears throat> that was probably the the secret to that one. Also, they just ran out of removal spells. They couldn't find a reanimation spell. If they would have found a reanimation spell, maybe. But interestingly enough, um, witness protection works really well against Jin Gitaxias. You know, it's not an instant, it's not a sorcery, it's not an artifact. So stick it to a Jin Gitaxias. One mana answer to a seven mana guy. You know, so, <laughs> not a not a bad last game.